question mark hospital, parental nutrition consultation and monitoring service for adults and adolescents. Procedure and process. Procedure. Responsibility of pharmacist. Obtain the names of patients receiving TPN in his slash her patient care area of Ractus via an electronic health record STEM list. Estimate the patient's nutritional caloric needs using validated requirement calculation methods. Consider the patient's current nutrition status, disease states, clinical status, lab values, medications and four fluids when initiating or adjusting a TPN. Pharmacist rule for all following categories. Prior to initiating or adjusting TPN, the pharmacist will successfully pass a general TPN competency exam. Pharmacists will monitor fluid, electrolyte, acid-base status and blood glucose in patients using standard laboratory values. Pharmacists will leave a progress note if one of the criteria below is met, TPN being initiated, TPN formula is changed or modified. Within 24 hours of patient transfer in level of care every 48 hours in the absence of criteria comma B or C above pharmacists will write orders for micronutrients and electrolytes per TPN guidelines listed in this policy. Changes to the amount of a micronutrient or electrolyte in a continuous TPN will be effective with the next continuous TPN back to be hung at 2200 daily unless the clinical condition requires these changes to be made sooner. Changes to the amount of micronutrient or electrolyte in a cyclic TPN will be effective the next cyclic TPN back to be hung at 2000 daily unless the clinical condition requires these changes to be made sooner. Pharmacists may order labs or procedures deemed necessary to provide optimal nutrition management including electrolytes, electrolyte protocols, renal and hepatic function tests, triglycerides, serum glucose checks, CRP pre-albumin and indirect calorimetry. Question mark estimate energy requirements determine patient's weight. Actual B6 colon phi weight in kg. ABU. The patient's actual body weight at hospital admission will be used for all energy requirements and protein requirement calculations except where specifically stated. Ideal body weight in kg. IBW. Hamwimethx colon F. The patient's ideal body weight will be used in specific circumstances such as obesity, pregnancy, chronic hemodialysis as outlined. Male, 48 kg plus 2.7 x, height in inches minus 60. Female, 45.5 kg plus 2.3 x, height in inches minus 60. Obese equals BMI 30. Calculate AE slash 24 hours using validated energy requirement calculation methods relevant to patient's clinical condition. 3. Estimate stress factor. Fluid volume. TPN should not be used to completely satisfy fluid requirements. Most TPN is infused at a rate of 50 to 75 mLG HR. If additional fluid is required, physicians should order a maintenance fluid in addition to TPN. Assess need for fluid restriction, specifically, CHF, renal failure, and concentrate TPN as able. Estimate protein, requirements and support, recommendations, amino acids, 4K cal slash GC appendix B for estimated protein requirements in various patient populations and disease states. Prealbumin equals 2 to 3 days, is preferred over albumin as an indicator of nutritional status equals 20 days. Prealbumin will be checked a minimum of once weekly. C-reactive protein. Recommended if prealbumin does not trend upward in the absence of other clinical explanations. Monitor BUN and SCR and consider limiting protein when risk of nephrotoxicity is high, i.e., acute or chronic renal insufficiency. Specialized hepatic amino acid formulas, branched chain amino acids will be considered in patients with more than gradual hepatic encephalopathy. Consider checking nitrogen balance to monitor protein utilization, LGN to equal 6.5 G protein, in appropriate patients. Question mark estimate lipid. Requirements and support. Recommendations. Lipids. 9 kcal slash G. 2 kcal slash ml. 
Lipid bottle and tubing will be changed daily at 2200 hours for continuous TPN and 2000 hours for cyclic TPN unless otherwise specified by a physician or pharmacist. The maximum hang time for each lipid bottle is 24 hours. Optimal dose, 25 to 30 percent of total KCAL. Required minimum of 4 to 10 percent of total KCAL to prevent essential fatty acid deficiency, EFAD. Baseline and weekly triglyceride, TG, level will be monitored and should remain 400, give 500 kcal, 250 ml, of lipid once or twice weekly to prevent TFAD. Monitor TG at least twice weekly in this patient population. For patients receiving propofol, lipids may be held or the rate adjusted as deemed appropriate by the pharmacist. Triglycerides will be monitored to determine need for adjustments. Starting or stow only it's due to concurrent use of row ofo. Dextrose will provide the balance of required clause not provided by rotine and lipids. Two dextrose should provide aprox 50 to 60 percent of total clause, 2 to 5 g per kilogram per minute. Three maximum concentration of dextrose will be 10 percent peripherally and 5 percent centrally. Four t the time of TPN initiation. If the patient is not currently on or active dose insulin or an insulin infusion protocol and does not have a hospitalist or intensivist currently consulted, the standard scale dose is as follows. Blood glucose adult insulin, 300 x 2, more than 355 units in call a physician. Dextrose, 3.4 kcal slash 5. Further adjustments to insulin orders will be made via HSSN. 6. If two consecutive blood glucose levels are question mark 150 mg slash 2, the pharmacist will notify the physician and recommend a hospitalis consult for management of hyperglycemia. Question mark pharmacists will also decrease dextrose in the TPN formulation as able to minimize further risk. 7. The time of TPN initiation. If the patient does have current insulin orders and or a hospitalist or intensivist consult, the pharmacist will notify the physician of the TPN initiation so he slash she can review and adjust the insulin orders as needed. 8. Calculate non-protein kcal colon nitrogen ratio, NPK colon N2, to determine if here is adequate kcal necessary for proper protein utilization. Recommended NPK colon N2 for Maintenance equals 150, 1, mild to moderate, stress equals 90, 120 to 1, severe stress slash critical, illness equals 70,100, 1, electrolytes, sodium, Na, normal serum, value, 135 to 145 standard amount in TPN is 32,80 mec per liter, 1 half NS equals 77 mec per liter. Pharmacists will initiate TPN with standard now unless physician and or disease state requires otherwise. Hyponatremia. Pharmacist will consider fluid status and disease states in patients with mild to moderate hyponatremia, now 125 to 135. If patient is fluid overloaded, no adjustments will be made. If patient is determined to be in normal fluid balance and two consecutive now levels are low. Pharmacist may increase NA in next TPN. Hypernatremia. Pharmacist will consider fluid status of the patient and reduce NA in next TPN as appropriate. Pharmacist will consider using a low sodium amino acid formulation to minimize NA content of TPN as appropriate. Potassium. K. Normal serum value. 3.5 minus 5.1 standard amount in TPN is 30 to 40 mec per liter. Pharmacist will initiate TPN with standard K unless physician and or disease state requires otherwise. Hypokalemia. K replacement protocol will be ordered at the initiation of TPN for all patients with the exception of dialysis patients. K and TPN will be increased per pharmacist discretion based on lab value, diuretic use, other four fluids, and total K replace per protocol. Hyperkalemia. 1. For K more than 6 or symptomatic hyperkalemia, TPN rate will be reduced or stopped. If TPN contains K, and pharmacist will adjust amount of K in next TPN per his slash her discretion.
Question mark magnesium, Mg. Normal serum value, 1.8 minus 2.6 standard amount in TPN is 4 to 12 mic per liter. Pharmacist will initiate TPN with standard Mg unless physician and or disease state requires otherwise. Hypomagnesemia. Mg replacement protocol will be ordered at the initiation of TPN for all patients with the exception of dialysis patients. Mg and TPN will be increased per pharmacist discretion based on lab value and total Mg replaced per protocol. Hypermagnesemia. 1. If patient experiences symptomatic hypermagnesemia, TPN rate will be reduced or stopped. If TPN contains MG, and pharmacist will adjust amount of MG in next TPN per his slash her discretion. Calcium, CA, normal serum, value, 8.5, 10.5 mg slash 2, ionized calcium, normal serum value. 1.19 minus 1.3 mol per liter standard amount in TPN is 5 to 10 mec per liter. Pharmacist will initiate TPN with standard cut unless physician and or disease state requires otherwise. To minimize risk of precipitate formation in TPN solution, cut mec per liter plus fos mol per liter 45. To minimize risk of precipitate formation in soft tissues, cut mg slash 2. X fos mol per liter, 60. Hypocasemia. Pharmacist will consider patient's serum albumin and may order an ionized cut prior to increasing cut in next bag of TPN. Cut in TPN will be increased per pharmacist discretion based on lab value and any replacement doses given. Hypercalcemia. If patient experiences symptomatic hypercalcemia, TPN rate will be reduced or stopped. If TPN contains cut, and pharmacist will adjust amount of CA in next TPN or his slash her discretion. Question mark phosphorus, phos, normal serum, value, 2.4 minus 4.7 m moly standard amount in TPN is 10 to 15 mol per liter. Pharmacists will initiate TPN with standard phos unless physician and or disease state requires otherwise. To minimize risk of precipitate formation in TPN solution, CA, Mech per liter, plus fos, mol per liter, 45. To minimize risk of precipitate formation in soft tissues, ca, mg slash 2, x fos, mol per liter, 60. Hypophosphatemia. Fos replacement protocol will be ordered at the initiation of TPN for all patients with the exception of dialysis patients. Fos and TPN will be increased per pharmacist's discretion based on lab value and total Fos replaced per protocol. Hyperphosphatemia. 1. Pharmacist will decrease Fos in next TPN per his slash her discretion. 2. Note that lipid formulas contain phosphorus 3. So patient may continue to receive some phosphorus even if it is removed from TPN. Both 10% and 20% lipid emulsions, i.e. Propofol and Liposin 1110 contain 15.5 mol of phosphorus per liter. Chloride and acetate bicarbonate. Normal serum values C 98 110 mech per liter. Bicarbonate 2232 32 mech per liter standard acetate colon chloride ratio and TPN is 1 1. Metabolic acidosis. If severe, pharmacist should minimize chloride in TPN. If mild slash moderate, the ratio may be adjusted per pharmacist's discretion. Metabolic alkalosis. If severe, pharmacist should minimize acetate in TPN. If mild slash moderate, the ratio may be adjusted per pharmacist's discretion. Multivitamin pharmacist will order standard multivitamin with vitamin K unless otherwise specified by the physician. See Appendix C for ingredients. Patients receiving anticoagulation with warfarin may remain on multivitamin with vitamin K with careful monitoring of INR or CFX values. Question mark trace elements pharmacist will order standard trace elements unless otherwise specified by the physician. See Appendix C for ingredients. Disease states where certain elements will be removed. Renal dysfunction, SCR more than 2 to 3 unless patient is receiving dialysis. 
Consider removal of selenium and chromium if on long-term TPN, 10 plus days, due to risk of accumulation. Hyperbilirubinemia, TBL more than 3 to 4. Consider removal of copper and manganese if on long-term TPN, 10 plus days, due to risk of accumulation. Additional, supplementation. No additional additives other than the standard multivitamin and trace elements as stated above will be added to any TPN formulation except those specifically stated in this section. Vitamin C. Patient population. When healing of surgical incisions or stage 2 or greater pressure ulcers may benefit from vitamin C supplementation. Pharmacists may add ascorbic acid 500 to 1,000 mg slash day to TPN patients with renal insufficiency who are not receiving dialysis will receive a maximum of 500 mg slash day. Patients with a history of or at risk for nephrolithiasis will not receive additional ascorbic acid zinc. Patient population, when healing of surgical incisions or pressure ulcers may benefit from zinc supplementation. A. Pharmacists may add zinc 5 to 10 mg slash day to TPN. Patient population, patients with significant stool and or GL fluid loss from diarrhea, ostomies, fistulas, etc. are at risk of deficient and may benefit from supplementation. Pharmacists may add zinc 5 to 10 mg slash day to TPN. Patient population, Patients who receive propofol infusion for more than 5 days are at risk of deficiency due to the chelating effects of EDTA. Pharmacists may add zinc 5 mg slash day to TPN. If a patient has more than one of the above indications for zinc supplementation, a maximum of 10 mg slash day will be added to TPN. Question mark insulin. Insulin may be added to the TPN bag at the physician's discretion after the TPN infusion has been at goal rate for at least 24 hours. Physicians will be responsible for making all insulin dose adjustments. Initiation of insulin and dose adjustments will be communicated to the pharmacist either verbally or via TPN changes from provider to pharmacy. For any TPN containing insulin, all changes made by pharmacy to the dextrose concentration will be communicated to the physician. Then any TPN containing insulin is discontinued. Pharmacy will contact the physician for new insulin orders if not already addressed. Osmolarity for peripheral line total osmolarity for peripheral TPN must be 900 mosm per liter to prevent phlebitis. Osmolarity of substrates and additives. Amino acids. 100 mosm slash gm percent, e.g. 4% AA contributes 400 mosm per liter. Dextrose, 50 mosm slash gm percent, e.g. 8% dextrose contributes 400 mosm per liter. Electrolytes, 1 mosm slash mech, e.g. 20 mech of K contributes 20 mosm per liter. Lipids, isoosmolar, can be given peripherally or centrally. Administration rate in general, TPN will be initiated at one half goal rate for 24 hours and then increased to goal rate. In patients deemed to be at risk for refeeding syndrome, the TPN will be initiated at a maximum of one half goal rate for a minimum of 24 hours and then increased to goal rate per pharmacist discretion. The maximum hang time for all TPN bags is 36 hours. In patients recently on TPN or changing from continuous to cyclic TPN, the duration to goal rate may be accelerated per pharmacist discretion. If TPN is to be discontinued, cut TPN rate in half for 2 to 4 hours and then discontinue or per physician recommendations. Lipids do not need to be tapered when discontinuing.